Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a very exciting video. This has been a long time coming, but I just wanted to make sure that I had my full thoughts together. I really put this product to the test because she's a pricey one. And um, I just wanted to make sure that I gave you as much helpful information for this video. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Shantikai Future Skin Tinted moisturizer. I purchased this myself. I have been wanting to try this for years. I think I mentioned before, but I saw Rachel Talbot use this years and years ago, and I've wanted to try it ever since because it just looked so beautiful on her, and I've always just been really curious about this, and I love tinted moisturizers. So I picked it up. I've been testing it out for quite some time, and I'm ready to give you my full thoughts. So make sure you grab some drink, grab a snack before we get into this video. Um, I'll try and keep it short and sweet and to the point. Um, but make sure you just grab something just to enjoy while you watch this video. And let's go ahead and get into it. Alright guys, so like I mentioned, we're talking about the Shantikai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. So again, I purchased this myself. She's pricey. Let's go and get into all the nitty gritty, the details, and then I'll show you how I apply it and what my final thoughts are. So this, again, is the Shantikai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer SPF 15. It is a mineral SPF. Um, you are getting 1.7 ounces of product, which is quite a bit more than your standard foundation. So I think that's nice. It does have a very high price tag at a whopping $79. This is definitely the most expensive tinted moisturizer I think I've ever purchased. I don't know. My Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation might be up there if we're talking about price per ounce. This comes in seven shades. Um, I'm going to show you the shade Nude today, which is described as medium with soft rose undertones, and it is the fourth lightest shade. Um, so I'll get into coverage and finish and all of that and kind of talk about the shade range in just a little bit. Um, but I just want to read to you a little bit about this tinted moisturizer. It's, it's a versatile three-in-one formula. Um, it's designed for men and women. Um, it has skin smoothing coverage and sun protection. It contains a blend of thyme and butterfly bush extract um, that have powerful antioxidant benefits. And this is crafted in Japan. Um, I will say just with Shantikai as a whole, this is a very luxury brand. You are paying for not only the product, but just the whole experience. Um, in terms of the packaging, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just this kind of plastic tube um, with a metal cap. Or it's not even metal, it's plastic, but it looks like metal. Um, so yeah, very, very simple packaging. I actually like this kind of toothpaste tube type of packaging because you can really control the amount of product that you get or that you're applying. Uh, kind of putting on your hand or your brush or whatever. And also you can get every last drop. Um, I'm not a huge fan of glass bottles or plastic um, bottles that have a pump unless it's an airless pump because then you're always left with that residual at the bottom that you can never really quite get out of there. So I actually appreciate the packaging because you are paying $80 for this product. I want to be able to get every last drop out of here. And then in terms of the SPF, it is an SPF of 15. That is not nearly enough SPF. Uh, even if this wasn't a foundation, if this was just an SPF, I, I would encourage you, make sure you're wearing a good SPF underneath, not just relying on this for sun protection. Um, but the sun protection, the SPF, is a physical sunscreen, and it is in the form of titanium dioxide at a 10.157%. Wow, that's very very precise i'm going to go and show you application i prefer to use my fingers with this i think my next preferred method would be a brush and then last would be a sponge i feel like a sponge just soaks up the product and you're just wasting a lot of product and because it is so pricey i think fingers is best you're really working it into the skin like a moisturizer um, and then a brush works as well but i'm going to show you how i apply this with my fingers because it's my best it's my favorite way to apply it. It blends in absolutely beautifully. Uh, there's no streakiness. I think because the texture of this is kind of like a gel cream type of texture, it's a little bit thicker, but it's not too, too thick. 
it just applies so evenly. It's also a quite a sheer product. I would describe this as sheer to light coverage. So with it being so sheer, you're not going to get as much of that kind of streakiness as you would with maybe like a medium to full coverage foundation. Upon for like one layer, one application, you're going to get about a sheer coverage. My freckles are still showing through, hyperpigmentation, blemishes, just any kind of spots on my face, everything's going to be showing. So this is not going to immediately cover everything up, but it does even out the complexion, takes down some redness, just honestly gives me exactly what I need from day to day. I don't like a lot of coverage. I don't like a ton of foundation or makeup on my skin. So I like something like this where it's like a skincare makeup hybrid and it just feels very light and effortless on the face. So I'm going to go and show you how I build this up with two layers. You can build it up slightly. Like I said, I could I, I can get from sheer to light coverage, but really nothing beyond that. Even when I try and build it up with a brush, I feel like I only get light coverage at most, which is fine. It is a tinted moisturizer. That's kind of what you're paying for. Upon first application, it feels not so dewy. It actually feels a little bit more on like the satin matte side, but this is a pretty glowy product. Now, t something to take into consideration, I am, I've been using this for the past month. It's June in Texas. We're, you know, in the low 90s, all the way up to 100 degree weather on any given day. Just for now in the weather that I am, um, this is really glowy. So when using this product, I actually prefer to use it with more of a mattifying powder, not too overly mattifying. I do have a drier skin type. Um, I've noticed it's a little bit more normal. I definitely get a little bit more shiny through the T-zone, especially on my chin and my forehead. That's where I really see the, the, um, the glow really start to show through. So I've actually been preferring this with a more matte powder. Some of my favorites are the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder. This is fantastic. It's just one of my staples. The Ilia Soft Focus Powder. This is amazing. This is quite mattifying as well. Very blurring. Honestly, these are kind of similar. The Danessa Myricks has a tint. This one doesn't. Um, but yeah, I love both of those with this product. I feel like it keeps the shine to a little bit more of a, a manageable shine. It's not oily or greasy looking. Um, and then I've also been loving the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Powder. This is their new press powder. And then I even love it with the Chantecaille Flower Power Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. This is one of my Holy Grail powders. Um, this was in my last favorites video. I really, really enjoy this. It's a little bit more on the glowy side, but I think this is about as glowy of a powder as I can use with this tinted moisturizer at the moment. So... With that being said, I do find that I do have to set my face. Again, just taking into consideration the weather that I'm in right now, the climate that I'm in, I do have to set this. It just looks so incredibly oily on my skin if I don't set it. I also feel like it just migrates across my face when I don't set it. When I set it with a powder, it stays locked in place. So, talked about the finish, we've talked about the coverage. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about the staying power. I think that's a little bit where this tinted moisturizer lacks. It's not the most long wearing uh, product like my Oxygenetics Oxygenating Foundation. That one is, even though it's a foundation, I would consider that kind of like a tinted moisturizer type of product. That is my most foolproof long wearing tinted moisturizer type of product. This one's not quite as long wearing. I do see that kind of in my smile lines, on my chin, um, like just, you know, those, those first areas where you start to see things kind of not look so great or to start to break up. That's, uh, I really do get that with this, you know, after I want to say like five, six hours. So it's not awful. It wears really well. Um, but I do start to see it wearing away throughout the day. Um, in those areas where I have a little bit of just issues regularly anyway. I think in terms of the foundation type products that I've tried from Shantikai, which I've only tried one other, which is their cushion foundation. I think in terms, uh, if, if we were to compare those two, I think the cushion foundation is a little bit more special. You get more coverage with that product as well. Um, the downside to the cushion, I feel like you go through it very, very quickly. It does come with a refill compact, but you just go through that product really quickly. I'm not a huge fan of cushion foundations, but um, in terms of formula, I, I think I like the cushion more. 
However, I still love this product. It is a joy to apply. In terms of there being seven shades, I still don't feel like that is enough shades. I think with, when working with such a sheer product, there is more leeway when it comes to shade variety, or at least having a shade um, all those in-between shades. I think you still need a very, very fair shade. I think you still need a really, really deep shade. But in terms of the number of shades in between, I think when you have such a sheer product, you don't need a new shade quite as often. But I still think seven shades is not enough. That's really my biggest criticism of this product. I just wish they would come out with more shades. And that goes across the board with a lot of kind of tinted moisturizer products. I think there's a little bit of a misconception when it comes to tinted products that because it's sheer, it's light, you don't need to have uh, that many shades or you don't need to have a full shade range. And I think you still need a full shade range. Like I said, even if they had like a super, super fair shade and a super, super deep shade, maybe not as many shades in between. So yeah, biggest criticism, shade range. Um, other than that, I really, really, really love this product. No coconut in here. There's no fragrance in here, which is such a bonus. I love when products don't have fragrance. Yes, the price is high, but I think if this is like your only foundation, you know, I think it's worth it. You know what I mean? It's like buying quality over quantity, if that makes sense. So anyway, I hope this review was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any additional questions in the comments down below. Um, I try and cover everything that I can in these reviews, but I, I feel like I always miss something. So please let me know down in the comments if there's anything that I missed or any other questions that you may have. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You